Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I have my harvesting basket and I also have my tools. It is time to get some of these brassicas out of the garden. The only thing that I really have left out here is just our broccoli, Swiss chard and kale. So I'm going to try to get all of this harvested by the end of the week, hopefully by Saturday. That way I can go ahead and refresh and flip this bed over and get it ready for the spring crops. <clears throat> but today we're going to be harvesting our broccoli. So let me just give you guys a quick glimpse of some of the broccoli we have. I'm not going to harvest them all. I do want to leave one or two plants out here for the pollinators. I'm not gonna harvest the seeds because they were a hybrid variety and I want to save heirloom seeds moving forward. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and show you guys some of the broccoli heads. Oh my goodness, they are just so beautiful. <laughs> All right, let's go in and take a look. So this is the first broccoli head. As you can see, they are beginning to separate and you'll be able to see here they are turning yellow because as they separate they're going to begin to flower and go to seed so this is still an edible head even when they separate it's edible so i'm going to get that picked off over here we have another beautiful broccoli head oh my goodness let's just take a stand back this right here is beautiful that that is just beautiful Okay, look at this is the size of my hand and that is the broccoli. So we have that one. So that's two. This is the third one here. Okay, we also have the fourth one there. We have another one here. We have two, one here and also there, but I am not going to harvest those two. I also have some back there that was eaten up severely by the, what is it, cabbage worms and loopers. They turn into caterpillars, but online they're called cabbage worms, okay? And everyone is writing me, they're not worms, they're caterpillars. Well, that's the name that's given online, okay? So let's go ahead and get this harvested okay i am back i wasn't sure if i needed to use my pruners i just love the way these soft grip pruners feel in my hand or if i needed to use this this is slowly becoming one of my favorite harvesting tools because you literally can just cut the base of the plant and this is a pretty thick stalk um this is a pretty thick stalk. I think I'm going to cut the whole thing because I want to send a picture to my husband and let him know if this ain't the type of bouquet you give me, I don't want it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and cut the base of this down. This sucker is thick. Ugh, let me show you all how thick it is down here. Goodness gracious. So I'm literally, I've been cutting on it. So that's just this sucker. Oh, got it cut <laughs> voila magic okay just like that and i'm saying magic this is the green magic broccoli perfect so i got this harvested the sun is peeking out kissing my face right now but i got this harvested and i'm just going to check the back of the leaves Someone named Toya left a comment the other day when I was out in the garden and said, does anyone eat the broccoli leaves? And I said, I believe you can. You know, I see many people saying you can cook the broccoli leaves, but I've never cooked them before. So I'm going to try to cook the broccoli leaves. So I'm just checking the bag for any type of bugs. Of course, I'm going to wash them when I get inside the house. But I just want to make sure there aren't any of those little cabbage worms or anything on the back of them. Because yesterday when I was out here watering watering um, some of the plants, I found some worms. So like right here, there's one little bitty worm back there. Let's see. Y'all see that right there? It's right here where my nail is. So I'm just going to get these pulled off. And I'm just going to 
take these on in the house with the harvest and I'm gonna figure out how to cook them I'm sure I'm gonna find some type of recipe or something online to show me how to cook them but isn't that a beautiful head of broccoli it sure is let's go ahead and get back into the harvest all right this is our second head of lettuce that head is beautiful we're gonna get this harvested let me try and see if it's gonna be better with the pruners because this one isn't as thick that cut that came right on off pruners it is so of course i'm checking the back and here we are with another worm <laughs> gross definitely checking the back i'm just gonna step on this here and keep it moving and i'm just gonna do a quick perimeter look at the back of these branches get any bugs off that i see and move it on along okay once we get this harvested you guys will be able to see my bunny i love my bunny statue back here i love it so much all right that gave me a little bit of resistance Woo! look at that hairy worms on there i do not like to touch the hairy ones so i'm just gonna try to get this one off oh where'd it go I don't know where it went, but that's a nice head of broccoli. I'm not going to use all of the leaves on this one, probably the top ones that doesn't have much damage by the critters. But let's go ahead and get this added to the basket. We're, so far we got a three heads of broccoli, y'all. Three nice heads. Okay, this one. Ah. Ooh, that's a nice head of broccoli there. Beautiful. I don't see any worms on the back of this one. Oh, there we are. Here's one here. We'll just take that right on off. Ah, I get so tired of these bugs. But the cost of gardening cost of gardening not a big cost <laughs> all righty we are done with our harvest for today we were able to get one two three four heads of broccoli Woohoo! so i am gonna cook this up with our dinner tonight oh my goodness i'm so happy about that guys but that is the only thing i have for you this is a really quick harvest video thank you so much for joining me here on the channel and i will cook these leaves i may do like some type of cooking video maybe try to incorporate it on sunday just to try it out for you all so stay tuned for that video and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button thanks for watching have a good day bye happy gardening